Hi everyone, I will be talking on research paper writing and publishing. I will try to do justice to the time allotted to me. So first, why to publish? So we should publish not only for, for our academic growth and for peer recognition, but mainly because it is our academic responsibility. So to share that what we have learned from our clinical experiences, we need to publish it. How else are we going to share our knowledge? And we should not only publish our good results, but we should also publish our complications. Responsibility. Now, how to publish? So first, we should know what is published. For that, we should read, read journals. We should read whatever literature is available on that matter. We should attend conferences, interact with peers and faculty. And more importantly, we should maintain our records and clinical images. To maintain our records, it is always better if we have made a proforma beforehand so that we can simply fill in the details in the proforma. For example, if we are doing a large number of replantations, in those cases, range of motion, two point discrimination, and functional scores must be noted at every follow up of the patient. This makes analysis of the data easier at a later date. We should also review our records periodically. Unfortunately, most of the studies. Are, that are conducted in India are retrospective studies, but it is always good to develop research plan and a thorough prospective study. Now there are various types of manuscripts. So we'll be discussing mainly about original article uh, in the current talk. So before writing for publication, we should know a few things. Firstly, we should write for a specific audience. So being plastic surgeons, we have actually a wide spectrum of audience we can write in orthopedic journals in ENT journals in ophthalm journals as well <clears throat> but basically we should target our audience then we should we should research the market for example if we are planning to write a article in a specific journal and if a similar article on a similar topic has been published in the past issues then it is very unlikely that our manuscript will be accepted in that journal so we should first decide which journal we want to submit and research what all has been published in that journal now to target the journal we should also be aware of the indexing of the journal the impact factor and the subject specificity of that particular journal we should also notice that writing an original article for a journal is totally different from thesis writing and we should write our manuscript accordingly now there are a few writing tips which are common for all manuscripts and for all journals every journal has got its own checklist and instruction to the authors we should read them beforehand so that we don't make any mistakes we should be simple and concise and not write complex sentences we should know our audience we should know our subject and more importantly we should know our purpose of writing if our writing is interpreted in more than one ways it is wrong and we should rewrite our manuscript then it is always better and preferable that we identify an ideal article from the selected journal selected journal means where we are going to send our manuscript and then based on that ideal article we can frame our manuscript accordingly so that we don't miss out on points all the characteristics or or the journal requirements are adhered to acknowledgments should be used very very liberally we should give credits to photographers statisticians and all those people who have contributed not necessarily as an author now coming to the anatomy of an article now an article has got various parts we will discuss them briefly one by one the first important one is the title so title identifies the main issue of the paper so it should always be accurate specific and complete it shouldn't have any abbreviations and it should attract our readers after that comes the abstract so abstract can be structured as well as non-structured depending upon the requirements of the journal so in a structured abstract it should include background the problem statement the approach results and the conclusion after abstract after abstract and before introduction are the keywords now keywords should be the most relevant words because based on our keywords the reader is going to find our article and is going to read it now coming to introduction the introduction generally makes a general statement about the subject and then it presents an overview of the current research project and the body of the manuscript or body of the article consists of material methods and results 
of which the material and methods specifically addresses the research question you have to write about how you address the research question what was the technique used any specific details about the technicalities so all this is included in the material and methods what is the sample size so this is also a part of material and methods after this comes the result which is the most important part all the results or the statistical details are included in the results after this comes the discussion in discussion we compare our results with the previously published studies and in discussion we also propose the follow up of our paper like what we intend to do in the future regarding these studies whether any follow up studies planned or not so that all is mentioned in the discussion after discussion is the conclusion wherein we conclude regarding the positive and the salient features of the manuscript and then is acknowledgement we acknowledge whoever has contributed and then is the references now there are different referencing system and depending upon the individual preferences and requirements of that particular journal we need to use those referencing system for that particular manuscript to be submitted for that particular journal now use of images is very important images should be good quality which shouldn't be pixelated and identity of the patient should not be revealed so this is an image showing basal cell carcinoma of the eye so in this case it is not important or not necessary to show the entire face of the patient so this is a wrong way of use of images for any journal so the images should be used and cropped so even if we have consent wherever it is not needed it is always better to avoid revealing identity of the patient we should always try and show images which reflect the function of that particular part so in this case eye opening and eye closure are shown it is always better if we can show images or rather videos which show function if videos are not available we can make animation videos so use of images are very important we should crop the unnecessary and unwanted backgrounds so many time we get images like these where lot of unwanted background is already there in the images and those images are directly uploaded on the journal site so it is not advisable and not recommended it creates a very bad impression now plagiarism is an offense and totally unethical there are lot of softwares which can easily detect plagiarism these days so this was one article which was published 2 years after one of our case reports and almost 80 to 90% of our data and our manuscript was replicated so it was easily identified by this plagiarism software now to prevent plagiarism what we should do is we should first of all write the manuscript in our own words without copy pasting it from anywhere and once we write our manuscript from our own words then we can include the necessary references in that manuscript so that prevents plagiarism and makes it an original article then coming to what does a reviewer look for in a manuscript now journals have their own guidelines the reviewer looks whether those guidelines have been adhered to looks at the originality of the work novelty of the concept and the coverage of relevant literature by novelty of the concept it means that whether the manuscript has got a good take home message because we can't have new and new ideas coming up in each and every manuscript but we should at least make sure that our manuscript has got a take home message then the reviewer also looks at clarity of writing the readability the organization the clarity of thoughts and technical quality of the paper appropriate title and abstract makes the manuscript even more acceptable the conclusion should be sound and discussion should be relevant and more and more recent articles should be referenced it's not that you go 30 40 50 years back and quote all the references more amount of recent uh, references should also be included then the length of the paper relative to its usefulness is also seen and appropriate use of clinical images especially in plastic surgery literature good quality of images always make a good impression on the reviewer so this i had uh, read somewhere when told i am too busy treating patients to do research i answer when you treat a patient you treat one patient when you do research you treat 10000 patients so we should all keep this in mind and apart from clinicians we should also try to be researchers and whatever we have learned through our clinical experiences we should try and put it 
in our manuscripts and submit it to various journals. So more importantly, regarding writing manuscripts, most of our barriers are more mental than physical. It's just that we need to begin writing it. And once we begin it, it becomes easier. Thank you.